This is to blame for tire troubles in Boston. A giant hole opened up in the Prudential Tunnel off-ramp this morning, leaving car after car with a flat. MassDOT crews have been working on that hole all day. But for the people left with flat tires, that repair comes a little too late. WBZ's Beth Tremano is live for us in Boston tonight with more of those frustrated drivers. Beth? And several drivers say they didn't see it coming until it was too late. That big hole opened up just as cars come around the curve inside the Prue Tunnel behind me. Now, Mass DOT says that road gave way just from wear and tear. But for unlucky drivers, it created a big headache. Huge. I would say, what, three inches? Pedro Santos has had better days, looking at a sizable gash that's left his rear tire flat. All caused by driving over this, a four foot sinkhole at the Copley exit inside the Prue Tunnel. Bad enough that Mass DOT workers were measuring it, and he couldn't avoid it as he rounded the corner. It's huge and deep. I could see the, the widest. It's not just like a pothole, it was something major. Add Sally Goldfarb to the list of affected drivers. Her tire also left with a huge gash. She couldn't get out of the way fast enough. There's no way you could have avoided it. Absolutely, positively, no way. I didn't see the hole, but I saw the car in front of me go into it, and I couldn't swerve to my left. It created gridlock for drivers inside the tunnel throughout the day, with only one lane open. Crews spent hours on repairs, removing damaged road surface and replacing it. But for Pedro Santos, working for a window cleaning company, his truck had to be towed. Supposed to be in the job 10 o'clock. It's almost 12 and I couldn't make it. As well as Sally Goldfarbs, with so much damage to the tire, not even her spare would work. It's just a, a huge inconvenience, and now I have to get towed and my whole day is spent. And the news for these drivers doesn't get much better. According to state law, they can only be compensated for property damage. They cannot be compensated for property damage, only for physical injuries. Fortunately, no one was injured in this case. Reporting live from Boston, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.